Hi again, I showed you in my previous video how to create a, a remote desktop session over an SSH tunnel uh, to your, uh, various machines on a network or over the internet uh, and on various machines on your home network. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to do a reverse shell, uh, which means that you could basically create a connection from a particular machine out on the internet, uh, create a tunnel to an SSH host, and then from an external location you could remote desktop to the SSH host and that would be tunneled then through to the remote desktop session. So firstly I will load up uh, this machine here 2.10 I'm going to create a tunnel to an SSH host on 192.168.2.12 Now on this session just, just to show you that the SSH is actually 2.12 uh, 2.12 there. So I'm going to go back to the remote desktop session. 2.12. I'm going to go to the tunnels. Once again, as I did in my previous video, I'm going to select the local ports accept connection from other hosts. I'm going to select port 3390. And in the destination, I'm going to select the local host, which is 127.0.0. Uh, and previously I mentioned about using two because one is always in use by uh, the console session so I'm going to use two and then colon 3389 I'm going to select that as a remote destination I'm going to add that to the list now once I've done that I'm going to open that session I'm then going to log on to the SSH host and got, I, have, I now have a connection to that host now what I'm going to do from here is go back to my main machine. I'm now going to create a remote desktop session to 2.12. Now as I said in the past, as I've shown you already, 2.12 is the SSH host. I'm now going to connect to that host. Agree. Yes. And there you go. Now this now has gone straight through to the 2.10 machine. Uh, so if I log in now, it'll may take over my previous session. It's creating an additional login. Um, so there you go. If uh, you need, what you can do with that as well is obviously set up it uh, to keep the TCP uh, session alive. Uh, because obviously, once you leave the the connection for you know it's, if it's idle for a little while, then obviously it would disconnect. But you can set it up to keep the the, the TCP packets going. So if you do set up a connection, maybe from uh, a remote location, then obviously from your your home, you can connect straight into that, and it would again bypass uh, maybe a, a firewall restriction that you may have. Okay, thank you very much.